Hi, I'm Professor Glenn Davis from the University of Sydney. I'm a professor of clinical exercise sciences in the School of Exercise Sports Science in the Faculty of Health Sciences. And I guess this is to tell you about how you can achieve a professional preparation degree in a fast track at one of Australia's premium universities. And Professor Davis, you had mentioned today actually during the presentation uh, some of the reasons why Canadian students would be particularly drawn to the University of Sydney and the Faculty of Health Sciences to the, the GEM, the Graduate Entry Master's programs. We've gone a long way to make sure that when we graduate students from the Graduate Entry Master's that they've made most of the core competencies and training that would allow them to be accredited back in Canada. For example, the, in 2007, our university got with the uh, Alliance of Physiotherapy Regulators, the Canadian Alliance, just to make sure that our program satisfied all the core competencies that a physio in Canada would have to have, but particularly would be able to pass the physiotherapy competency exam, which is an exam that every single Canadian physio has to pass. So we'll give you special guidance in getting through that exam for whatever problems you're going to pass, whatever problems you're going to be in. Now, of course, the same is true of occupational therapy, exercise physiology, and speech pathology. We, we go a long way to make sure that what we teach you has real um, transferability, just as if you're receiving it from a Canadian university and for the Canadian province you're going to practice in. Mm -hmm. And one of the other things that you mentioned was the competition that Canadian students meet up with when they're applying to local universities as well. How, how does that relate to the entrance requirements at, at the University of Sydney? Being that the University of Sydney has been ranked at, and is ranked 19th in the world for, for health sciences. Well, I'm not sure I can give the direct statistics um, because that would be kind of unfair to our Canadian competitors. But I can say that it requires a fairly high arithmetical average to get into the graduate entry master's programs in some of the top Canadian universities that offer the two-year fast-track degrees. In some of our programs in Sydney, we reserve a certain number of spots for international students. We cap our spots at, at 25 in physiotherapy, for example. In some others, we find that students compete quite well with our Australian students who want the same degree. So really, it's an opportunity for students who want to take a professional degree after a start that might be generic health sciences or kinesiology or science or even arts for some of our degrees that the, some of their degrees that would qualify for a professional preparation degree on a two-year program that would then make them ready to practice as, as professional uh, people back in Canada. And we've got 10 of these gems uh, that include things like vision, orthoptics, uh, radiation therapy, nuclear medicine, radiography, physiotherapy, of course, uh, clinical exercise science, uh, occupational therapy, and speech pathology. So there are a vast number of jewels in our crown, our premium degrees at the two-year level that would satisfy students who come from a rather more varied background than a traditional health science or even physiotherapy background. Hmm. Most of our students are also a little bit older because they've done a previous degree and they're more mature and more certain on what they want to do uh, when they get out and practice in, in a health, health uh, sciences or, or a health environment. Hmm. And what do you tell a student from Canada who's thinking about taking on this adventure? And going into this kind of experience? Be prepared for two years of hard study, but within there is also an experience in a culturally different country. Uh, there are enough differences between Australia and Canada that will make it a, a new experience for you. Australians have a more laid-back way about life sometimes and, and really enjoy their, their downtime. Of course, I could would be neglect if I did not mention Manly Beach, Bondi Beach, and the wide variety of, of experiences that you're going to experience uh, at, if you come for an advanced degree with us. There is a lot of study and is intensive, but we make sure that that study does not blunt the other enjoyment parts you would have in visiting Sydney for two years and seeing the very best of Australia in the time you have off. Okay. Professor Davis, thank you. My pleasure, Brett.